here's Michael's name and I back more Persona 4. So let's see the last time. Uh, if I recall last time after we went to the whole culture festival and we uh, well we got first to cross racing and we get some fun servers and we almost died. Um I guess we're gonna continue with the game. Let's go. What I'm gonna do? I'll figure it out. Okay then, let's hang out with these guys. Uh huh. Yep, let's go for it. All right. Nice. Ugh. Hey man. to do. Or maybe yes. I really did like you back then. Ramen, he might help you a bit. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, at least I suppose he could put his feelings at ease. I hope. Oh, welcome back. Hey, didn't let it go. I suppose I should. I got a lot of st stuff I need to get from the TV, believe it or not. Hmm. for the best.
god. I think I'm kind of worried. Suppose there's nothing else we can do for now. Hmm. I'm going to see if we can find the Rize. But if I cannot find her and I don't hang out, I'll probably just uh, go into the TV. Because I really need to get some items. Not here. Here we go. I was called out here. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's since I cannot find my girlfriend, since the place is where she is for me to hang out, she was not there. I'm gonna go and enter each dungeon and try to not only increase my levels but increase my money. Get some items for the quests, all that stuff. So I guess I'll see you all as soon as I finish that. Or I'm probably gonna try to fit those uh, big guys at the end. So uh, yeah, give me a few minutes. Huh? Are we going already? Yeah, let's go for it. Why not? You get it, babe. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Darkness won't work, huh? What about light? Oh, yours. Will it work? What? It's not working. One enemy to go. Keep it up. It's over. There. We're gonna have to find a poison. Eh? You couldn't do it. Good job, babe. Enemy down. The enemy understood. Here we go. Everyone. And action. All right, go. Knock them out. Oh my God. Sentai, are you okay? Huh? You oh, that is not good. To do again. Enemy down. Nice. Just huh? all right. Places, everyone. And action. Perfect. Go. Knock them out. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Oh, no. Yukiko Senpai, are you okay? Huh? What the hell? Senpai, wake up, please. He just keeps going against uh, Yukiko. Oh, Oh, girl. Uh, it's quite tenacious. Because Senpai can't get back up. There goes Tim again. Feeling okay? There's Shona! Alright, come on. Enemy oh, down. fuck yeah. Just huh? alright. It's showtime. Are you ready? Yes! Go! Beat him up! Here we go. Wait till we are done. Right? Yeah, you're done. Okay, now I'm ready. Alright, let's go win. What the fuck? We are fighting a giant baby. Wow, it's puny. This will be cake. 
So it's gonna be hard. I'm sure of it. Oh god. One enemy to go. Keep it up. It's over. There. I couldn't. Now what could you be weak? I should work well. Oh, nice. Um, but before that, let's just quiz the full uh Oh, I can Here's the thing, I need to increase this guy's level, you know, to do a little fusion for Margaret, so... What? Senpai, are you okay? Just my pride. The only thing my pride that got destroyed. Don't worry. Persona! Oh, it's quite tenacious! Oh god. Okay, not bad, Teddy. Keep are it you up. okay? There we go. Alright, come on, using the attack. Now I should be able to do something. Keep missing. That sucks. All yours. Oh, it's quite tenacious. Good move, Nato Kun. You're on a roll. All, uh, all out attack. Let's see up here. Someone finish this one off. Oh, oh god. Oh my god, this is not good. Persona. Give me your hand. I'm not gonna lie. This one definitely a difficult one. Oh, he's nice. <laughs> hmm. I think it's well good for now. Let's get the hell out of here. Back. I'm back. I just went to turn on fighting. No worries. Hmm? Oh my god. Yeah, let's just go sleep. Oh my god, I just love these, uh, these strange dreams. Hmm. What should I do? I guess I'll try this thing again.
Come on, Mom. Hmm. Huh? I need black. I do. Um, we don't have to go every day. Jeez, woman, relax. I suppose we're going to do this. Senpai. Oh, hey there, Kanji. I wonder will come on. That's true. We well, always went and trained a lot. Oh god. Hmm. Huh. Probably tomorrow that I gonna have to ask this, so Maybe I should check if there's any more books. What? Oh crap, I'm I'm in a long month. I cannot believe it. Give me a minute. I don't believe I didn't notice that. Okay, here we go, the answer. But I have no idea how I messed this up. Go watch with the Rizzi. I think it was this movie she wanted. Oh, hi. Huh? Oh, see ya. Hey there, babe. Sorry to make you wait. No worries. <laughs> Let's go, Senpai.
Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, what the hell was that? Dad's late. Oh, of course he is. Did he forget his keys? What is it? It was the delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. Oh. What? Jima residence. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh huh. All right. It's okay. I know it's your job. Uh huh. Uh huh. Big bros with me. So, okay. Bye. -bye. Got the middle Jima. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. Oh. But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. Oh, sweetie. It's cold today, too. Want to bring out the kotatsu? Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. You know what? That's a good idea. I want to try kotatsu. Those things seem so warm. That'll make it nice and warm. Let's do it. Okay, I'm turning it on. Um... What? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. Oh, boy. Uh, let's get the best one. Huh? We can buy one? At you, Ness? Yep. Yay! <laughs> when you have some time, let's go to Juness. <gasps> She's so considerate. When you have some time, not like... <laughs> oh, my God, sweetie. My heart. Yeah, we're gonna buy Kutatsu. No worries. Well then, let's see. What was gonna appear? What? What is that? Damn it. Is it an old lady? A man? Did you see that? It was really blurry, but you saw someone on the screen, right? Damn it. Is there gonna be another kidnapping? Most likely. And this time we have no idea who it is. Let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow. The one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions. But maybe someone has an idea of who it might be. We definitely need to talk. Just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school. You got it. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna do shivers. I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. Well, sure, I mean, it's a bit uh, out there, but it is kind of like a calling card and in yet, a way. I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? Hmm. Well, from a fuzzy picture like that, no way. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? Hmm, I can't think of any offhand. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Hmm. Huh, what's the matter? 
Did you figure something? Oh out? yeah, they stuck you with the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. Oh my god. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Namako-chan and I'm serious about living. From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? You think so? I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. I don't see. I don't even know. It was probably just a dream or your imagination. Yeah. Weren't you the one who told me that me putting my hand inside of the TV was just a dream? Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. So once again, it's confirmed. As long as it's blurry, nobody's in there. But as soon as we get a clear image, the person is, is in there. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. Oh, you got it. Hmm? Hey, I'm back. Oh, hey there, Toshima. Um... So, what is that? Welcome back! Oh, God. Dad, the Kachats is broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? I don't like this. I don't like that Dojima is holding something. Oh, please. Please just be a, you know, a buffalo dog for propaganda or something. Anything other than that. The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Thank you. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. This is not good. Hey. Not again. What am I gonna do this time? Um... If you don't stop this time, some clothes will be... Oh no. Hey! What the hell is this? Um... Not often we get letters with no return address on them. It's... it's probably just a prank. So... I was right. Oh no. Um... Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? What are you up to? Um... Make up an excuse. <laughs> so you're not gonna be honest with me? It's not like that. You, you won't be able to understand this. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. Um... But... Treat me... You, you're my... Mother's younger brother, remember? But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. Oh no. I will have the truth from you today. Tojima, you don't understand. Dad? You're scaring down the cock. We'll continue this somewhere else. But I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. Oh god. This is for your own good, got that? Oh no. It's all right. We're not fighting. Um... We'll be right back, so don't wait up for us to get to bed, okay? You know Danako's gonna be all alone. Um... We'll be back, don't worry. Okay. I'll be waiting. Oh, sweetie. Oh, this is not good. Fuck. The fucking asshole. Oh no. I'll hold on to this. Um. But you, you don't understand. Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Fine, I'll tell you the whole truth. 
just because I care about you and Arago and everyone else. Persona? People going inside a TV? I ha there's a TV right there. Want me to show you? I can show you. Just tell me. I just give me the permission to get up and show you and all the <sighs> it. I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going oh, on here. Oh, looks like Dojima, it's the truth. You have to believe me. Enough. That's enough. <laughs> I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But you're my mother's younger brother, right? But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. I did. <sighs> it's a shame. Stay here for the night. Tojima? Uncle? No. Oh, sorry. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame him. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. I suppose. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. So, yeah. Don't take it so hard. Thanks, Adachi. You know, Dojima's son started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. What? <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. It's okay. All right, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Thank you. You're a good guy, Dachi. God damn it. This is not good. Uh, why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. And you, why are you so, so part of it? God damn it. And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age. Oh my god, Teddy. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kids model, though. <laughs> Thank you, Yosuke. So to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. Hmm? He's not picking up. Oh, you're calling me. Yeah, there's a bit of a problem. It's raining right now, so I was gonna remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? Uh, I want to go to Nana-chan's place. I promised to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. Oh my god. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. Yeah. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Oh my god, you guys. Hang on a sec, I'll try calling again. He's still not picking up. Oh, duh, I forgot to try his home line. Oh, you're scared. I'm in big trouble. Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? Wait, what? You got taken to the police station? 
stop blabbering and let me talk too! Good evening. <laughs> this is your Teddy speaking. Teddy, that's enough. Let's get together and eat snacks again! Weird litter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait, was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Yeah, this is not good. Someone please go check on Nanako. She's all alone. Oh. Damn it, I'm bored. Hmm? Uh oh. Is it gonna appear something? There he is, I see something. Wait. Wait a minute. Please tell me. <gasps> no! I swear, someone go for there. Yosuke, listen to Teddy. Go there. F food. Give him food. I mean, give uh, Nanako food. Dinner. Everything. Just stay there, please. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Oh, for fuck's sake. I need to find a way. Wait, uh, Adachi. Maybe you can ask him Adachi. Tell him. Nanako's in danger. What? Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. Don't you fucking touch her! Oh my god, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good! Wasn't that Nanako chan on the Midnight Channel just now? How could it be her? I know what you're thinking, but Nanako chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but. She was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. Don't tell me. The child became well known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako chan. A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. Oh, the fucking reporter. I told she he should be fired, whatever that person is. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god. I should have realized it much sooner. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. What are we gonna do? Nanako chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. You look a bit too far away. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. Isn't there someone much closer? Maybe Kanji? Rizzi? He said he called Kanji Kun too. They'll explain the situation there. Alright, I'll join them right away. And I'll let Yukiko and Rizzi chan know. Yes, please do. Oh god, please. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako chan's missing! For fuck's sake, no! What? What do you mean? N Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako chan. I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. It's not. This is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Dojima-san. Is this true? 
has Nanako really been? We have to worry. Why? Why, Nanako? No, there's no time to ask why. We need to save her. Um, it's probably because the media... What are you doing? Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now. What are you doing with this uh, whole uh, fiasco? What the fuck? Just... Um, alright. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Damn Even it. if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way- Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! Ah, oh, this is not good. Uh... <sighs> what am I gonna do? Dojima-san's run off half-cocked. Adachi-san. We'll go look for her, too. So please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Oh, God. Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! The hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun! I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. No, not exactly what he meant. Now let's, come on, let's explain it, and then you're gonna let me out and try to find my, my Shinanako. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. Okay, fine. I'm also losing my There's shit here. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean, Nanako-chan opened the door herself? But she says she shouldn't open for strangers. So she knows. Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. This is like, this is like with you. And maybe even with the others. Like how it was for all of us. So the killer... How? Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her, as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? She's... I always do what my dad tells me. Like not opening the door for strangers. Yeah, that means she knows the guy. She knows the killer. So is the killer someone Nana-chan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? <sighs> I don't... I don't know. Hmm... I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I mean, most of... Most people she knows are kids and... People the dad works with, like a, a dachi. I don't know, that's just the friends, but probably very young. There's no way they can be the killer. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain 
that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Hmm. Huh? TV? What? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. So, like I said, the killer has a TV with them. By all times. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? Maybe. I mean, it'd be kind of awkward seeing it. Some random guy walking around with a giant TV. Huh. So that means they're using a car big enough to carry a TV. Maybe a plasma TV. Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, mm -hmm. I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's most likely a, a car and nobody pays attention to it. Wait. Hold on. What if... So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? The delivery driver. <gasps> I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. Nobody will pay attention to the to deliver guy. Especially when if, if he has a del delivery car. If he's just like a, I don't know, walking around and seeing a police car. Nobody will pay attention to the police. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? A delivery trunk. That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck. No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. That was right. Especially with the, the car, with the, what's it called, a fireman, I mean, fire trunk, police car. I think that's why I know. I only pay attention to those things when they are, their, the lights are on. But other than that... And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Oh god. Um, is it- is this my fault? I did- I did mail so many. Oh god. Adachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Come on, Adachi. Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is going to be a lot more difficult then. Hey! Hmm? Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. Okay. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. Who? Who I is it? I better go tell Dojima-san. Who is it? After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Him. Taro Namatame. You gotta be kidding. The Anka singer's husband. All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. The address is, it's not far from here. I give him the clue, and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Really? Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi. Adachi-san. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Yeah, let's go for it. Damn. 
He's not good. <gasps> I see smoke. What the? Hey, is that smoke? An accident? <gasps> Uncle. Oh no. Dojima-san, are you all right? Where's Nanako? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call backup too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? Quickly, need to find her. <gasps> what happened? I wish you can all figure out what happened. I was on my way to Namatame's house. When I saw him, drive past me. Gave chase, and he. Damn it! And where's Nanako? I'm Namatami. Find him, uh, please. But how? Oh yeah, maybe there's clues in the truck. Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Go for it, Naruto. Even as the there really is a TV in there. Yep, there he is, and it's a plasma, just like I said. Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world. Thus, I must save people. Save people. Save? The hell does he mean by that? Hmm. Even stretches the, the message that I kept receiving didn't say anything about saving. Got the opposite. Weird. This, it's a list of the victims' home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Rise Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow, and that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? Most likely. I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He'd just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer! We need to go save Nanako-chan. Here, let's use this TV and... And no. Wait a sec! We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? That's right. Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Dojima-san. Oh boy. 
you guys. Hey there, Uncle. Are you all right? I almost look like hell right now. <laughs> it's okay. You will look, you look better. I mean, worse. <laughs> <laughs> Nanako, she's my reason for living. Same here. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. Oh, she must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. And here I am. <coughs> and she needs me most. I'm... I'm helpless. Don't be like that. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Doji, my son. If anything happens to Nanako, I'll make Namatame pay. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. Trust us. Get some rest. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. Don't worry. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. We got this. Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah. Yeah, we're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. Yeah. This is it! Let's go all out and get it done! Fuck yeah! I made a promise with Nana-chan. I said that we'd play again, and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. Yeah, so let's save her. We're doing it for Dojima-san, too. <laughs> He'll owe us another watermelon. Making jokes already, huh? Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. Come on! We can do this, guys! No problem! Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. Here we go. And rank up. Looks like we're almost there to the end of the of the story. So yeah then, as you guys can probably guess, we're gonna about go and try to save Nanika. Will we be able to save her? You can bet your freaking asses I will. So yeah, everyone, please like the video, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, and I'll see you all on the next video. We'll go rescue our precious little Nanako. Bye-bye. Uh,